Hey everybody, welcome to Common Comic Covers, an appreciation podcast for non-key comics, issue 38. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Andy. Andy, there's something different about you. New glasses? Oh yeah. Those new glasses? Yeah, I did. I put new glasses on. I'm wearing the same shirt I wore last week, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, I uh, t- dyed my hair purple today. I like so. it. Thanks. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, our friend uh, Jared was here, and he's done hair care for me before. And I had him bleach my hair, which is not comfortable, and then put the purple dye in. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I, I I haven't really washed it yet. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. So, I think I've only yeah. been your hair uh, person one time. Um, I believe yeah. I shaved your head and give you a bit of a mohawk. Oh, that our, time. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike then, hated me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, was, he was mad at both of us for that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I went to camp with him without you that yeah. for a week. Yeah. He, he, oh man, thought about it. He just thought I looked like a skinhead, which I did. I guess. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Which, oh, man. which we don't want to look like that. No, we don't want to look like that. And, um, <laughs> I remember the worst haircut I got was from Pete at Bible College. Oh, when he he. He he shaved my head bald, but then he left like a patch in the back of my head without telling me. <laughs> but it was like, and I didn't know for like hours, hours. Did he do it on purpose or just? Yes, he did it on purpose. <laughs> I was walking around Bible college. He, Pete, like the lived in his van, Pete, or like big tall no, prison guard, Pete. The, yeah, sheriff, Pete. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Yeah. Wow. We're yeah. we're, dive, we're diving down the lane here. Anyway, yeah. I like the hair. I kind of think it's punk rock. I, I think I think I got to keep going with it. Uh, we're here to talk about comics. We're going to talk uh, yeah. our inbox. Excited about that? No, sorry. First is our common comic cover. Yeah, nice show. And then we're going to go into our inbox, and then we have a fun tour. Uh, I'll set it up here in a little bit. It'll be fun. Sure. We we got to see each other a couple days ago, and we went to. One of our favorite spots and we're going to talk about that later and um let's get going andy what's your common yeah. comic cover this week okay so my common comic cover this week is oh, captain cool. marvel jr uh number holy number smokes uh yeah. 728 uh 28 yeah, yeah. that's right and it is by uh macro is that uh, Billy Melting? Yes. So uh, it's one of Captain Marvel's villains. Uh, set, uh, where did I, I wrote this down? So I, for, I forgot to write his name down um, on the back of this comic book. Uh, but he's melting a, a building. Yeah. So this came out on March of 45. Uh, there are, he's fighting the Japanese inside the interiors and, and some of the stories. Um, but uh, Mac Raboy is, he's, uh, he did, um, He's done a lot of really classic covers, and I was always wanted to have. What is it? Mac, Mac Raboy? No, Mac Raboy. Maybe write yeah. that and write that in the the show notes. Yeah, so it's M A C and then A. Oh, sorry, A. Oh, excuse me, R A B O Y. Um. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's. Oh yeah, that's, he an, did, that's an amazing cover. Yeah, he, he does a lot of really cool covers. He does um, the Green Llama. He has some classic Green Llama covers, mm-hmm. um, but uh, and he does a lot of he does a lot of Captain Marvel Junior covers. I I I bought this for fifty bucks, um, and I don't remember when, like in the last year or so. But um, it's not a super common book. Um, there aren't any for sale on eBay right now. Um, there's only six that have been graded or sorry there's only been six that have been sold that have been graded in the last since 22. um there are 22 that have been graded by cgc uh but it's it's a really cool book if if you can i don't find one they're not super expensive and this one has like some great um some you know, original writing some original writing they crossed out the 10 cent yeah, mark because it should be now <laughs> Yeah. It's 1945 inflation. Yeah. yeah. So 
uh, but it's a great book. I'm so happy to own Andy, a copy that, of this. That is one of the coolest covers. Like, I no disrespect, but if you took, it would even be better if you could take away Captain Marvel Jr. Take him out. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and then it's you just have the idea. moon and the skyline and the melting building. Oh, like, yeah. keep, keep the laser guy in there. Yeah. Oh, I want, I took it out of the board so you can see this. So it's a, a buy war bonds stamp on the back or buy war bonds oh, yeah. here. And it's like, how do you say cookie uh, made with baby Ruth's baby candy? Ruth. Yeah. It's a cool back cover too. That's cool. That's a great book. Great. Yeah. Book. Thanks. Yeah. What's your uh, common comic cover this week? Yeah, so mine is a few years later, for 40 years later, 1985, okay. January. This is, um, and we were talking a few weeks ago about bigger books. Yeah. Now they're not as not as common, not as collectible. So this is a Marvel graphic novel. Remember when they did all those? Yes. <clears throat> this is number 18, The Sensational She-Hulk. Oh, boy. It is a, it's a negative oh. space cover. Yeah. It's a John Byrne art, John Byrne writing. Um, this one, it's all black, and so my it, it's a first printing, but it's pretty uh, scuffed up with the black. So yeah. I paid twelve dollars for it. Um, That's great. Where I, where did you get it? Guy Nerd Books. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, it was great. It was just there one night, and it saw it, and I was like, "That's a cool book." Yeah, thought the price was right. Um, there are sixty six on the census. There actually is a 9.9 .9 of this book. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And then there's 21 9.8s. It's, it's, you can buy it right now. You can get it on my comic shop for in way better shape than this for 50 bucks, probably. Sure. Um, okay. Uh, so, with, um, is it a collecting or is it new material or is it collected? It no. is new. Yeah, no, good question. It is new material. So it is oh, Sensational okay. She-Hulk. It's the same Sensational She-Hulk as the series. Um, oh, man, I should have looked this up, Andy. So this is 85. I want to say this predates Sensational She-Hulk number one. Oh. I will also say I could be wrong. Okay. Yeah. I am 51% I am sure this yeah. is before Sensational She-Hulk number one. Okay. All right, that's cool. Um, but it's though. its own. It's, it's I I do know it's a standalone because I read this, and I've read the first fifteen Sensational She Hulks. Yeah, yeah. Um, because Steve Gerber writes some of them. Oh, this guy again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, fun uh, book. There's John Byrne on the back, lost uh, in his thoughts of She Hulk. Uh, can you zoom in on the John Byrne? Uh, <laughs> And there's, okay. there's the other people. you know, I yeah. obviously there was the TV show a while ago, which is which I thought was fine. Um, yeah, She Hulk is one of those. So, again, it's me. If you've watched the show, um, you're not gonna see a lot of Spider Man books from me, you're gonna see just the weird things that not everyone really wants to collect. Yeah, but um, She Hulk, you can get the first appearance of She Hulk for a pretty fairly easy price, Savage She Hulk number one not super expensive um i th I think she's kind of a cool character burn did some interesting stuff in sensational she hulk that i thought was kind of cool she talks to you like mm -hmm. the reader um which is kind of yeah, fun yeah. and so he does that and he kind of had a lot of freedom to do but anyway fun book um yeah, I, John I think burn was a was a rock star back then he was this was he was in his prime yeah. in 1985 so yeah. good stuff okay andy what's in your inbox so yeah, I wanted to bring out and show off uh, some of the stuff that I got from our trip to Half Price Books. Um, I'll start with A Decade of Dark Horse. It's a cover by Frank Miller. Um, and it, it's and a wraparound got, cover. Wasn't that in the um, dollar bin? Yes, yeah, so this is a dollar. I got this in the dollar bin. That's so it's, cool. Um, yeah, it's like it recently sold a nice one sold for nine dollars plus four dollars shipping on eBay. Uh, but this came out in uh, July of '96. It has Frank Miller cover. There's a a pretty graphic Sin City cover or a story, a pretty cool Predator story, and then the Grendel story was so so. It was okay, but I read them. It was a great book. Um, cool. Yeah. Good find. Um, really good find. 
yeah it was really cool it's it's i mean it's just like the the it's a very like you know he's gonna take a a plug well and speaking and, of prime well i guess his prime lasted a little bit longer than but 96 frank miller's in his sin city prime right there yeah yeah he's he's uh when did they stop doing sin city i don't remember but yeah he, um, he yeah it was in that range yeah uh and then the flash uh 199 this is oh, a 50 yeah. cent comic book it's a, uh, and i haven't read it before uh i did read is that it. the jeff johns run yeah. yeah and this is like the third appearance of uh zoom i think um second or third and he i ha i've had a cop this is my second copy of it but i hadn't read it before it is brutal and great it is a great read it is zoom is such a great villain in this uh, i was like wow um so the flash volume 2 199 great book and then uh and this is all like dollar bin stuff that 50 cent bin you know at half price books which are great if you don't have a half half price books are on a lot of the united states but it's a it's a used bookstore where they just you bring in your collections they give you not much and then you can buy them for not much later and they sell some new stuff but mm -hmm. a lot of it's used uh and this is superman space age uh book three um and i love this cover it's a mike allred story mm -hmm. and it, it's a uh mark russell yep. story yep. that's a I great story to, yeah i want to get the other two now yeah you should um and i've 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 I started reading it and flipping through it, and I was like, ah, no, I got to start at the beginning. So I haven't read all that. But those are the three I, I just had an issue. I, I also got a bunch of My Little Pony books for my daughter. Mm -hmm. She loves My Little Pony. And then I got 30 Saga books. And I haven't even book. I put them in plastic and backings from like 10 to 25, and then from 40 to 55 or something like that is what I got. Um, and it was great. And I, I look forward to reading that story. And um, they're a buck a piece. So it's great. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. What did you, what do you have? What's in your inbox? Yeah. <clears throat> so similar to last week, going to take us to, um, you know, you and I were just talking off, off, off camera. I guess we're always on camera when we're talking, but uh -huh. yeah. before, before yeah. the show started yes. on it, yes. it's fun. It's fun learning. Um, you know, part of doing this show, we yeah. learned so much, but one of the things I've come across and actually someone gave this to me just for fun. I think you bought one too, Andy. It's I comics did. between the panels <clears throat> oh, that's good. and yeah. it's what it is. It's from 1998. It's an encyclopedia, yeah. a journalist from, I want to say it was from Portland, Oregon, um, took however long and put together an encyclopedia. So this is 1998. The internet was not invented yet. Um, there's really no way just to like look stuff up. There, so, like, there was the internet then, but yes, I was in, I was using the internet in high school. Oh yeah. I, I, I had email in there. <laughs> don't, yeah. Don't fact check me right now. The <laughs> internet, Al Gore had not invented the internet mm -hmm. yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Internet wasn't invented. <laughs> <laughs> what i should say is the amount of search engines yes wasn't around yeah. all you had was a uh, jeeves <laughs> ask jeeves. jeeves yeah um but it's great like there's great art in it you asked me a few uh, weeks yeah. ago about charles byro yeah has some great stuff in there um so that green lantern i think that's a that might be a mac for a boy is that mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Maybe it's not. I, I might be way off base on that. Um, I think it's a kind of a random thing. It doesn't say who it okay. is. Okay, never mind. Yeah. But anyway, it's a fun book. I think you paid. It's pretty cheap. I mean, mine was free. Yeah, I got um, a great, great deal on it. Dark um, Dark Horse put it out brand new. It was 50 bucks. There you go. Here, here's mine. Oh, you have a different yeah. cover. Yeah. 
mine's a yeah. first uh, mine's a first printing i don't know if that's a different later printing that's a cool cover though yeah i think i got from it for like seven dollars yeah but yeah then... it's out there mine is signed by the by the author and some of the editors oh. to, to some guy named mick um, <clears throat> yeah it's cool anyway if you're cool. if you're liking history obviously there's nothing in here that you can't find on the internet <clears throat> but I don't know. There's just there's it's a there's, lot. Some, there's some different kind of stories. You know, he's yeah. he's pulling from people for this information. Like he's talking to someone that knew Charles Byro. Yeah. Um, and I think I looked up a Jack Cole. I actually looked up while you were talking. Mac Raboy. Yeah. Born Emmanuel Raboy in New York in 1914. Mac was at his best drawing Captain Marvel Jr. in the early 1940s. Raboy's mm -hmm. style was as important to Captain Marvel Jr. as Kirby's was to Captain America, or Beck Beck's was to Big Red Cheese, Jim Steronko wrote. So he pulls a lot from Jim Steronko's History of Comic Books, um, okay. other ones. Anyway, where was he from? From New York, graduate, along with Will Eisner and Bob Kane of DeWitt Clinton High School. With the, wow. with the same high school as Will Eisner and Bob Kane. That's pretty good. Um, <laughs> let's see what else worked on pages. He died in 1967. Few were praising yeah. his work at the end, with the exception of Dan Barry. It looked like he was getting bored, and his art was starting to reflect his boredom. Barry told Amazing Heroes. Oh. Anyway, but it's this, you know, half a page, quarter of a page yeah. right there. Fun book, Comics Between the Panels from Dark Horse 1998. You can find them used, but nice, thick, fun encyclopedia. Yeah. Um, as you're collecting your history of comic books. There you go. Well, when I've done the deep dives, the, the I found stuff in there that I didn't find anywhere else. Yeah. So, yeah. It's it's a great cool. number one place to go to. Um, because I think you know, Wikipedia, this is yeah, this is a little bit more reliable, I think, than Wikipedia. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take our viewers on a tour and I'll set it up. We've talked about going yes. to half price books. Yes. So you and I have been going to half price books for twenty something years. And yeah. Even to this day, there's books where you're like, I can't believe they're asking that much. And then there's books yeah. that you're thinking, Oh my gosh, this is all they're asking for this. Yeah. And so uh too many to show, but we have grabbed a few different items that you and I, that you've collected, I've collected over the last 20 something years. Yeah. For, for me, it's going to be smoking deals on some books that I've got. Um, and then I think you're going to take us through. So that's what our tour, our tour today is things that we've got at half price, half books price books, half price books for yes. smoking deals. Yes. Uh, so I, I decided, uh, Jeremy brought this up and I thought it was a good idea. <clears throat> Jeremy just like, Hey, let's, show stuff from half price books so i decided to show things like graphic novels that i got at half price books so this is like yeah. you get a lot of these um they're black and white editions um i thoroughly loved reading the justice league um so great gardner fox fan because of this um have you, have you ever read any of gardner fox's novels i have not uh i have um yeah and it was like it was like a conan ripoff i can't remember the name of it now but i read like volume uh like i had issue uh book one two and four so i needed three so i read the first two and i didn't read it so okay but, sorry. and, and these going. are just oh, wow. uh two and four i thought i'd grab three but i didn't and those like, are ones where they're selling them at half the cover price yeah yes yeah, so these are half cover price so like i actually have one it actually still has the sticker on it so 11 of 09 i paid eight dollars and 48 cents for it yeah so 17 dollars cover price but uh and then um something like this um it's like a daredevil the kevin smith run oh uh, yeah yeah it was great i i I'd had like always had like a missing book or two but i got got it and it was yeah. great I um, love the I love the Kevin Smith run. It's a little nostalgic, but it's I I liked it. Yeah, well, and it's nostalgic for me personally because I was really into collecting comic books when that came right after that came out. Yes. Um, 
Yeah. And that was like early 2000s. I think so. But I get, and uh, Son of Origins. Oh, yeah. That's cool. It's fun to collect these uh, these old ones. So that was, this is a, like a second print. And I, I ended up getting a first print. Perfect. Um, this one's great. Uh, it says, Tim, thank you. And have a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and have a long life. Love, Aaron. 122175. Oh my gosh. He wrote uh twenty five dollars on the inside cover, but they just gave gave it to me for half of seven dollars. <laughs> Which is great. Um <laughs> wow. Was, that's a good deal. It, yeah, yeah that, it, that's it, about it, a twenty five dollar book. Yeah. First, it, the first printing. Yeah, the X Men one is in here. Yeah. Uh Iron Man's first appearance, Tales of Suspense yeah. thirty nine is in here. What a great way to collect things too. It's like you just like, yeah, I don't need to spend uh thirty thousand dollars on comic books. I can just buy a the four dollar book. Is that just the cover in there or is it no it's the whole book reprinted? Okay. Daredevil one reprinted. And then what's so, the what's the writing part? So the writing's like an intro to like their the character. So it's like okay. a blind man shall lead them. And it has like Daredevil number one and then Daredevil like fifty seven or something for some reason. I don't know. Okay. But what's all yeah, the, like, it's Daredevil like forty seven. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, oh, that's um, cool. and then it has uh, Strange Tales one thirty five, which I think is the first time, first appearance of Hydra. Their first. I have that book. I think you. Do yeah. Too. I don't think I do. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and then it has um, this here, which I didn't know about, but it's like uh, this. It starts here, so I knew it was like in a split book. And he wasn't on the cover, but it's a it's like a series all about the Watcher. Oh, cool! And um, yeah, it's uh, this is uh, Gene Colan. Anyways, oh, nice. it's uh, it's a reprinting of um, uh, Tales of Suspense forty fifty something or other fifty eight, I think. So it does like nine issues. I didn't know about that. That was like somewhere, and then it has a uh, Silver Surfer number, number one. Just one. It up. Yeah, that so, is awesome. What a good find. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is, and yeah, just neat stuff. And then Marvel Comics, the very best of Marvel Comics. And this, this is my like 70s, 80s stuff. Um, cool books in there, though. And then I picked this up. Um, it is a, uh, it had like a, a, a pricier sticker on it, but I was like, hey, this is all beat up here. And they're like, okay, you can just have a crap price. I was like, okay. Um, but it reprints the, uh, the four. Four issue mm -hmm. mini the, series, yeah, 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 which was that's cool, that's, yeah. And then this is, um, yeah. a, re uh, a collection of the uh, the Cliss Claremont, the Frank first, Miller, the, the four issue mini series, right? Yeah, yeah, and this is actually a, re a first printing. I have like, uh, I think I have like a fifth and a seventh printing too, but that one's the first printing I didn't know about. And this is the last one, and this is the best one. Um, and this is, uh, I find, um, yeah, so I paid $10 for this. Oh, yeah. But this is the Dark Knight Returns first print hardback edition. I was going to say, is that hardback? It's a hardback from 1985. Jeez. And I went in 2017, I had Klaus Jansen, Klaus Jansen oh. sign it for me. Yeah. Um, and it is, I, I don't care how much it goes for i think it's it's mm, so nice that's but cool because did you did you pay half price for it i paid i think i paid ten dollars for it which was half price of the original yeah it was a twenty dollar book and i paid ten and we're saying this half price books sometimes they tra charge more than half price just... yeah sometimes they do yeah so i saw like i've seen prices all over the place for this book um but uh Sometimes it's like fifty dollars. Um, sometimes it's more, <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But um, I cool. like it. Yeah. yeah, I think I, I would. This is like one of the keeper books in my collection. Like I'm like I don't like. House is I, on fire. You're grabbing that book. If the house is on fire. I mean, I I probably <laughs> shouldn't grab this book. I'd probably grab some other books. Grab your kids. Grab my oh, kids. Oh, I mean, yeah, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have I have a big collection of Flash comic books, and I probably grabbed the big sure, pricey sure, sure, comic sure. books. Sure. So tell us about your uh, your store. Uh, your yeah, uh, couple 
kind of a little bit of, of a theme, not graphic novels, but I found some where I bought, I'm going to show you two stacks uh, that are a run and I bought the run at the same time. So oh, nice. the first one is Wolverine one through 10. Oh, and I bought them all at, on the same day at the same time. And I paid, I probably paid 20 bucks for all 10 books. Oh my gosh. Um, I've actually found Wolverine number one twice there. The last time I bought it, it was a newsstand. I think I paid five bucks for it. Oh, wow. Um, but I, I mean, these are some of my favorite Wolverine books. <clears throat> yeah. Beautiful, iconic covers. And that has the, that has the one with the Hulk on it too, where he's it's right coming. next up, right? It's coming. It's oh. that seven. Yeah, this one, beautiful. Yeah. Number eight, number nine, and then the classic, number 10. Yeah. Sabretooth. But again, they were all just sitting there. And I mean, you know you you know me well enough. I didn't spend $100 on these 10 books. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah. then another time, same thing. All, all, they're all just sitting there at probably the same price. Um but I Sandman volume two numbers one through nine of the Neil oh. Gaiman. And I again probably paid about 20 bucks. Wow. For all nine of these. Got the there's a few that are valuable. This one. Is a but one and eight, right? Eight's like the first parents of death mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. The this one right here. Yeah. Number eight. Okay. That's so cool. again, just fun, kind of a cool run. I was like, oh my gosh. Uh, and then <clears throat> the last one, you know what's coming, Andy. I had to show Oh, it. yeah. My burns me. Got it in the quarter bin, ladies and gentlemen. It was in the 25 cent clearance bin. I will, I will admit, I didn't know what I was buying other than I was like, oh, wow. A 10 cent flash comic for a quarter. Why wouldn't I buy this? There's some, yeah. there's some, uh, <clears throat> it is a one of a kind book. So this is <laughs> flash 110 first appearance of kid flash. I paid a quarter for it. Uh, bonus flash has a, uh, goatee <laughs> that someone drew on him. So good. So um, good. I think it was whoever that is. That was his book. Mm -hmm. I'm not upset though. I paid a quarter for it. I remember, uh, yeah. I, te I texted you. Cause I knew you were yeah. a flash fan. I did not know. Like, I didn't look this up. Like, I, I don't know about you, but I would always go and grab an over street. Um, oh yeah. Half price yeah, yeah. books and like bring it over. Um, Cause again, yeah. this was before the internet. <laughs> yeah. It was before yeah. smartphones. 2001. Um, yeah, when, I, when I bought this, it was way before smartphones. Well, it was way before I had a smartphone. Yeah, let's say yeah. that. And I, but I like texted you and I was like, yeah. Hey, uh, I just bought flash number one ten. Uh, for yeah. a quarter, and you like lost it, <laughs> and I was like, I mean, it's not, it's it's in pretty rough shape. And you're like, that's the first appearance of Kid Flash. It's like a collectible. I'm like, oh, oh I paid yeah. a quarter for it. <laughs> My gosh, just sitting in there, a beauty. Yeah. Um, that was a fun. One. I forgot I was gonna bring another one. I really um was glad I got there. Amazing Spider-Man. Is it number forty? Um, first appearance of Rhino. No, the black cover to the black cover after 9 11 i, I got that um for how half price that was just in the regular bin where they're selling it for 30, half the price 36 i think is what that yeah was. yeah something yeah. like that yeah um yeah, yeah. but i forgot to grab that but anyway yeah so i like that that's the tour um you're welcome yeah. half price books yeah um, and and it's not like uh every time you walk in there you're going to come out with one through ten of wolverine <laughs> No, I've never seen that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I just, I used to go to the Capitol Hill one and just get oh, oh yeah. so many Spawn comic books. Yeah, so many Spawn comic yes. books. Yes, then, that was always uh, like my number one thing on a day off. I'd be like, I'm going to half price books. Yeah, um, not not quite as good as it used to be. Um, there's not as many around in in your area. There's none over here in Eastern Washington. Yeah. Um, but there used to be quite a handful over, but the, there was one on Capitol Hill and one in the U district. Yeah. Always had amazing books and those are both gone. Um, oh, 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think the one on Capitol Hills is I think a goodwill now. And then okay. the U district one is like a mechanic. <laughs> mechanic oh, car dealership. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, I've been to the Redmond one a couple times. Yeah, I've never found anything good there. I've only been there a couple yeah. times. Though. Good well, anyway, so that was our inbox. That was our tour. And that's it for issue 38. Thanks for watching. Yeah. And as Ringo Starr says, peace and love, peace and love.